Hello everyone and welcome to the Let's Play Tomb Raider, or Rise of the Tomb Raider, sorry about that. Um, is a relatively old-ish game, maybe a year or two old, I'm not 100% certain when it first came out, when it first came out. But it's still relatively new, uh, relatively being a very, very key word here. But I love the Tomb Raider series because it was one of the very first games I played on the PS2 that was in uh, 3D. It was also, the PS2, PS1. Um, it was also one of the games I uh, had on the demo disc that came with my uh, PS1 when I very first got it. So I have a sort of a, um affection for this game. And before anyone asks, no, I did not try the nude code that allegedly existed in the original games. You perverts. Okay, maybe once. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I didn't even know about that back then. Because, well, I didn't have the internet back then. But, besides the point, um, I've been wanting to do a Let's Play on this game since I first heard about its release. However long ago it was, but um, I think it was only exclusive for a different console for a while, and then it was re uh, released on the PS4, which I got, so I'm looking forward to playing this. Now, I have played pretty much most of the opening level. I wanted to make sure this was the game I wanted to play for you all, so I ran through it a little bit and tested it out. Now, there are a lot of new things in this game that were from, that uh, were, a, new, a lot of new things that weren't in the original Tomb Raider that was uh, re-released on uh, the reboot, I should say. Sorry. So, I'm looking forward to getting into that, especially considering it does have a lot more to do with archaeology. Which, if people don't know, when I was in grade school, was the profession I wanted to be. That was the one thing I wanted to be. I wanted to go to Egypt and, you know, go through the tombs of the pharaohs and stuff like that. I was, I was such a nut back then for that type of stuff. Um, but, yeah. Unfortunately, archaeology is not really a good paying job anymore, <clears throat> because, well, a lot of stuff's been found. So unless I decide to go, you know, under the water, which I'm not going to do, I'm kind of screwed on that. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. I didn't go very far, so... Uh, yes, I'm sure. Okay, so, I looked at this a while ago. Basically, the difficulties are a lot, are very interesting. This is basically normal mode, uh, hard, very hard, and um, critical mode. If you want to see me do a extreme survival run through, leave a comment in any of the Tomb Raider videos saying, "Hey, Shikyo, I'd love to see you try and you know brutalize yourself in this game." So I'll do another let's play on it in Extreme Survivor. But first, I want to go through Tomb Raider, uh, go through the game um, in normal mode, so I can actually know what I'm getting myself into properly. That being said, also. There is probably going to be about six sets of this done uh, in tandem like I normally do, but after the sixth set, a new game is coming out that I want to play badly. Like, I really want to play this game. Um, it comes out on the sixth day, actually. The sixth, uh, the day the sixth set comes out, which I probably should be able to record. Depends if I stay up late or not. But once that game comes out, I'll be switching over to that one. Once I finish that game... I'll go into this game. If you know your game releases, you know which game I'm referring to. But, let's just go. Ah, oh, this game's so pretty, though. I'm looking forward to it. What makes someone reach beyond the boundaries of human experience to face the unknown? As children, we question the world around us. We learn, we accept. And gradually, we lose our capacity for wonder. But some do not. The explorers, the seekers of truth. It is these pioneers who define the future of mankind. The others, they're done. No amount of money is going to get him through those mountains. The lost city's up there, somewhere. That's going to be a hell of a climb. I'm not turning back. I know. You should stay here with them. Not a chance. See 
Look at that! It's amazing! But the snow coming off those peaks is a bad sign. Alright, let's get it! Now, memory serves, Juno was the guy who gave us the bow in the first game. We'll have a good view of the valley beyond from the summit. Oh, just look at this though, look at this view. I have mad respect for anyone, I mean anyone who is able to, uh, um, climb mountains like this. I can't do it at all. So, I l I'm major respect for anyone who actually does this type of stuff. Especially for fun. I know, but I have a good feeling about this. Yep. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. Shit. I'm okay. You okay. Lost my footing. I'm fine. God, it's this wind. Really make my controller vibrate. <laughs> oh crap! Ah. Ah. Got my pickaxe. Okay. We're good. I'm here. I'll climb down there and get you. Oh. No. I always mash the square button whenever I jump, just in case. I can climb back up. Are you sure? Just stay put. There we are. Keep it going. God, this game's so pretty. I actually like the new Lara Croft too. I, I, I'm not a big fan of the uh, original watermelon chest uh, Lara Croft. I really like this one. It's more realistic. Across. Guess the way of putting it. Okay. okay. Here we go. Uh, gotcha. Shit, Lara. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Are you okay? I also like that she's not the uh, the badass from the original games. I mean, sure, she grows into being that, but I'm really glad that they did remake her and actually we actually get to see her um, grow as a character from what she was in the first game to becoming um, pretty good to where she is now, and then probably even greater afterwards. I'm looking forward to it. Flair. All right. Well, I, well, I do have a guide just for finding the collectibles. The guide also mostly consists of me looking at a map. <laughs> I'm not gonna look at guides to give me uh, heads up for you know bosses or random encounters or stuff like that. I just hope he hasn't beaten us to it. Storm's getting closer. We have a couple hours at most. Okay. Let's go. Should be enough time. We're almost to the top. We can do it. Oof. What do you think? We're close to something, Jonah. I can feel it. Just this last stretch to the top. All right. Let's see what's up there. Always make sure you have a, a lifeline to your buddy. Of course. You ready? Let's do it. Here we go. I wonder how many people have actually died because they never had a, a lifeline tied to their friend. Yeah, there is. Oh boy. I make those noises. I always do that, even when I'm not, even when I'm not recording. Oh no. Oh, no, no. Hold on. I'm going to dig in. Can you make it across? I can make it. Here we go. Gotcha. Whoa. Holy shit. I don't think I can make that jump. 
You can do it, man. Don't worry. Better. How much fuel rope do you think he has? You got it. Ah, crap. Oh, crap. Like Kimiko all over again. Alright, we're doing good. That ice looks kind of real. Oh, hi. Oh boy. Oh, God. oh bloody hell. I got you. Laura, can you hear me? Yeah. I'm going to pull you back up. I gotta look up who does the voice for Laura, because she does she does a great job. I can't hold on much longer. Come on, Laura. No, not close enough. Come on, get that swing. Gotcha. No, I don't. Laura, I can't Keep hold going. You. The rope is slipping. Hold on, Jenna. Gotcha. I'm climbing, I'm climbing, shut up! Woo! Oh, oh crap. Avalanche. Go back, Jonah! Get to shelter! Book it! Keep it going. Oh boy. Gotta be careful of that. Is this a plane? Gotcha. That's gonna hurt. Alright. Get that accent. Oh crap. Out of the way of that. Now we're doing good. Oh crap. Oh. We can make it. Huh. Get that axe out. Oh boy. Woo. Great, look at my GoPro. About to buy another one. Oof. That really does look like footage of someone falling down the side of a mountain with a GoPro. Whoo! Two weeks earlier. Not to be confused with London, France. I'm sorry, I've been watching Cinema Sense too much. I'm sorry. It is the greatest cruelty of life that we're all too swiftly taken from it. We age, we decay, we die. But what do we leave behind? Bones? Dust? What of the soul? Does it endure beyond our earthly existence? I believe it does. A truth lies at the heart of many myths and stories. A truth not of science, but something more profound. The key to unlocking everlasting life. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle, but I'm not alone in this search. They're following me, watching my every step. I know them by name now. Trinity. An ancient, violent sect with designs on controlling the future of humanity. I'm 
must proceed carefully for the sake of my family. If anything were to ever happen to Lara or Anna, I could never forgive myself. Sorry. What are you doing here? I saw the gutter press was attacking you again. I thought you could use some company. No lies. Were you followed? Followed? Of course not. What's going on? I think I found the tomb. Oh, you can't be serious. The myth of the Prophet is real. Dad was right. Lara, your father was... unwell. No. He was close to a great discovery, tangible evidence of the immortal soul. I loved Richard. I would have married him if he'd asked. But he was a broken man. I don't want to see you end up like him. Anna, he was right. It was everyone else who was wrong. Tombs in Syria. Syria? Oh God, Laura, no. This is madness. Get your life sorted. Go home to the manor. You know I can't go back there. But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. It's nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. Hey, we're heading into a war zone now. Sure about this. We're close. There should be an oasis in the canyon just ahead. You're wasting your time. There's nothing out here. Just keep driving, please. It's your money. Something isn't right. Oh, that's just local militia. You told someone, didn't you? They, they paid better than you. You fool! And that's why I don't that's why I don't portray your employer. Seriously. It's a good thing she kept her uh, axe. Jeez.
Oh boy. Oh, that's a concussion. Yeah, we have a concussion. I have a gun too. Okay, let's get going. That's a fair warning about this area. This area is pretty much the. Uh... Oop, never quiet. It was said the prophet's tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the prophet was laid to rest. All right, cool. All right, so this area is pretty much the, the tutorial stage, and we can't come back here. So, I have to make sure I get everything. Well, we can kinda once we beat the game, but uh, yeah. Whoa. I'm going for a uh, go through the area once type of a thing, if I can. Here. I went through most of this area, so I know where most of the treasure is. Detailed and inlaid with gems. It looks Byzantine, perhaps 10th century. It fits with the legend of the prophet. Jeez. That's a pretty it's a pretty relic relic too. Okay. In we go. Could this really be it? All right. I also know about the survivor sense. I think I was in the, in the first game. Got my rave stick. Ooh. Incredible. Some kind of marker. Can't quite make out the translation. Okay, so, now we have um, a new thing that's added to the game, which I really love this. Monoliths and other um, murals, I guess is a good way of putting it, that we can decode if we have the uh, prerequisite language known, or enough of it at least. We gain these knowledges by uh, finding murals of that era, as well as um, uh, scrolls and documents and stuff like that. Which I love. I'm glad that, you know, finally, in a Tomb Raider game... We're doing some freaking archaeology. Okay, he's shown here performing healing miracles. Dad's notes mention this. Okay. Oop. Up over here. These are the miracles of the prophet of Constantinople. Unjustly murdered by order of Trinity. What is nice though? Is that they glow brightly, so you know which one's uh where a mural is. It's the prophet speaking with a foreign army. He convinced them to lay down their weapons. Way to go! All right, we can now translate this monolith. Hmm, my Greek is still a little rusty, but it's pointing to something hidden nearby. I'll mark down the locations. I guess we're close, we get that little sparkle. But we can get the player beacons marked out, which is helpful. Whoop. Yay. Alright, what we got in here? I need to read what this does, because I didn't check. Ancient coins can be traded for upgrades and equipment. Ah, okay, so this is currency. That's good to know. I wasn't able to read it when I first came through this area. He led his followers through the desert to the oasis. All right. So we got all of those. The map I have is pretty much just for uh, uh, locations of stuff. A secret entrance. I have conflicts about doing this. Like I said, I wanted to be an archaeologist. So the, just destroying things like this really makes me uncomfortable. Even though I know it's just a game and you have to. Ugh. It's amazing. If only Dad could have seen this. So pretty. 
Yeah, I guess that would constitute as an oasis. You know, water, trees, plant life. Oh. R3, 4, where we need to go. Okay. I gotta find if I can go quicker on things like this. Well, they know we're here. No way. No way. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Jump. Whoo. Gotcha. Oh, okay, don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll see if I can scramble quickly on the side stuff by pressing X, but apparently I jumped. The order of Trinity pursued the prophet and his people uh. relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. Sorry, scorpions. A way through. Fortunately, they're big scorpions, so we don't have to worry too much about being poisoned. It's the little ones you have to worry about. Go on! Damn nah. Come on. I have time to break out another rave stick. Oh! Hi. Call you George. Excuse me, Georgie? Gonna get me a balloon. Ah! Uh. Oh, right in the oh, right in the dude's mouth. Hi. Also, fortunately, if you don't screw with scorpions, they don't screw with you, really. As far as I know. There was a battle here. Armed soldiers against religious pilgrims. The order of Trinity. All right. Oh, square. My son, the Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar and a heretic, claiming miracles that come only from the divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Oi, trust your son, mate. <sighs> that mouse. A rat. By the order of Trinity. All right. I'm assuming murals give us more EXP for uh, our thing. Ooh. Feel bad for them. All right. So that. Is everything in there. Okay. We we'll also check to see how much we have. Okay. Uh, got all the murals. Awesome. Three more relics. Two more coin caches, one relic, three documents, and a challenge, which is fun. I didn't figure out what the challenge was. I, I think I know what it is now because I looked up, my, looked up my guide. That was too close. All right. Always reload after I shoot a bullet. Never know. We might need that one gun, our one bullet. Ooh, that ain't good. No! No! Ow. Cold. See, so yeah, we're gonna get this pretty quickly. That should be a one-parter. We'll see. Well, we'll find out in a second. Right. Made out of there pretty quickly. Oh crap! 
Nope. Break out of this. Swim. Swim. Get out of this water. Before we drown. There we go. Okay. Whew. Stunning. Yeah, it is. Made it, Dad. All right. There's a challenge here that I wasn't able to get because I didn't know what it was, but. Let's do... Okay. Good form. Alright. Alright, should be... Through here? Like... Here. Got to find a way to get up higher. Maybe I can raise the water. I'm looking for a incense burner, which I have no clue about. Let's see here. Uh, half the chamber. <laughs> and then look up. Okay. Over here. Um, hold on a second, guys. I will be right back. I'm getting called for something. So, give me a second, guys. <laughs> 